Hey, I'm Yama Indra, I'm a trainer here at Live School, and I also mix, produce, and release music as gloves. Ableton have recently released Live 9.2 Beta, and within it is a new tuner device. The other week I took the tuner device for a test run, I tuned a hardware analog synthesizer, a Mini Moog Model D, as well as a guitar. You can check out the video, the link's in the description. I recently found another awesome use for the tuner though, it actually works quite well in tuning drums. Let's take a look. So here's the session I'll show you this in. First of all, I've got a loop I've been working on. We've got a snare to keep time over here. And then in the middle of the drums, we're going to tune. So first up, the tuner's only really gonna work on very tonal drums. That's like toms, kicks, congas, that type of thing. Generally, it's not gonna work on snares, hi-hats, cymbals, etc. So let's tune some kicks. So the tune I've got here is in D-sharp minor. That means that D sharp is the root note and A sharp is the fifth. Generally, when you're tuning kick drums, you wanna aim for the root note. If for some reason that's not possible, then you could aim for the fifth as an alternative. All right, so I'll start playing back a kick drum. And remember I said I wanna to aim to get it on the D sharp, my root note. Let's have a look at the tuner device. It's moving around a lot because drums do usually have some modulation on their pitch. However, most of the drum is constant at this tone just above a G, and you can see the tune is picking that up well. So if I'm aiming for a D sharp, which is also known as an E flat, I need to come down a little way. I'll transpose this drum down. There we go, now I'm pretty close to an E flat. I'll just take it down a few cents. Remember there's a hundred cents to a semitone. And now you can see most of the time that's hitting in the middle of E flat. Let's bring the music back in with that. Now it sounds in tune to me, but it's quite hard to hear because it's so low. To make it a bit easier to hear, I'm gonna bring it up an entire octave. I'll bring it up 12 semitones above what it is now, just so we can hear whether it's in tune easy. This is to verify with our ears whether the tuner is doing a good job. So to me, that's sounding pretty tight. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's tune the second kick. If I play it back, you can see it's currently coming up as somewhere in between an F and an F sharp. So I'll come down a little, trying to get to the E flat, remember. It's too far down, I'll come up with the D tune. Parameter here, 100 cents to a semitone. And now it's sitting right in the middle of E flat, AKA D sharp. Again, it's kind of too low for us to really hear that note. I'll bring it up an octave so we can hear. Bring that back in with the music so you can hear it's in tune. The histogram view is not too bad for this either. This other view, let's take a look. So you can see that works pretty well in the histogram view as well. I found the tuner device doesn't work for every kick drum. It's kind of like a four out of five hit rate. One in five drums won't show up at all. I guess it depends on how strong the fundamental frequency of the drum is. If you want to know more about tuning drums, there's, an there's another video I did recently. Uh, the link's in the description. I went through four different methods for tuning drums. All right, that's it for this tutorial. See you next time.